And let me tell you, if we can pick up some more seats in the House of Representatives, and if we can pick up some more seats in the United States Senate, and if we can elect Barack Obama as the next President of the United States, we will be on the verge, we will be on the verge in this country. We will be on the verge of an era, of an era where big, bold, dramatic, breathtaking change can take place. Uh, uh, an era similar to the New Deal and to the Great Society in its breadth and in its boldness. I mean, we will make sure that everybody in this country has health care. We will make sure that we care about our environment, that we have an energy policy, that we deal with these rising gas prices, that we care for our veterans, that we make sure that literally no child gets left behind in this country, that we invest in education, that we do all the things that the Democratic Party stands for. I mean, we have this opportunity because all the pieces will be in place for the first time in a long, long time. This is my 12th year in Congress, believe it or not. And I'm going to tell you, when I got elected, the Republicans were controlling Congress, the Democrats had the White House. It didn't work too well. Then we had the Republicans in control of Congress and the Republicans in control of the White House. That was even worse. That was a nightmare. And then we now have the Democrats in control of Congress and the Republicans in control of the White House. Doesn't work well. So, what we need is to get Democrats in control of the Congress and Democrats in control of the White House, yeah. and then we can begin to do the kinds of things that we need to do for this country. Now, you've heard speaker after speaker get up here and make an appeal that you do not leave this room without signing up. You have to sign up. We have, you have to do house parties, you have to do phone calls, you have to do whatever it takes. Please don't just come here to be able to see the magnificent governor and the magnificent <laughs> lieutenant governor. You know, I mean, you know, it's, it is important that we not only kind of talk the talk in this election, but we walk the walk, and that means we all have to work. You know, elections are won by you. I would not be here as the United States Congress, if it, Congressman, if it weren't for the people in this room. I got outspent and, I, and everybody thought I was done. But it was a grassroots movement and an old-fashioned door-to-door campaign that helped put me over the top. And I want to tell you something. Barack Obama may be up in the polls right now, but please do not be lulled into a sense of comfort. Because these Republicans, you know, one of the things I'm going to tell you about them is they're good at negative campaigning. Cal, they got the desk Cal Rove off. You know, and uh, you know, and get him back out there and start throwing the garbage at Barack Obama. That's what the Republicans do, and they do it well. I mean, you want to give them credit for something? They're good at throwing garbage in campaigns, and they do it all the time. And a lot of the times, they're successful. And so we have to be prepared, and that means we don't take a summer vacation. That means we got to work. And, you know, and so I'm asking all of you here today to do not leave this room until you sign up for something. Do not leave this room until you're committed to doing something for Barack Obama. Uh, finally, look, you know, we're all here for one reason, because we love our country. And I meant what I said in the beginning when I said, but we're patriots. That's why we're here. I mean, we are, you know, we are motivated by the loftiest of reasons. I mean, we care about our country. We believe in our country. We believe in the founding ideals of this country. We want our country, once again, to be respected around the world as a beacon for human rights, as, as a leader in the effort to fight poverty and hunger. We want to we be a leader in this country to help uh, people uh, who need our help. I mean, we, that's who we are as Democrats. And boy, am I proud to be a Democrat. Uh, uh, with Barack Obama. I really am. I'm going to tell you, I mean, it's incredible. But failure is not an option in this campaign. I'm going to tell you, John McCain is a nice guy. I've gotten to know him a little bit over the years. Um, he's got a, you know, he's got a, a distinguished career. But you know what? He represents a continuation of George Bush. And if you like George Bush, if you're one of the 17% in this country who approve of George Bush, then you should vote for John McCain. But I'm going to tell you, we can't, our country can't survive another four years of this. We just can't. I mean, there are people in this community who can't afford to put food on the table. 
There are people, because of the rising cost of energy, you know, can't afford to even go to their jobs. I mean, people are hurting. And if we get a continuation of this administration with a total abandonment of the middle class and of those who are struggling to get in the middle class, I mean, people are gonna <coughs> vanquish. I mean, that's how serious this is. And I don't want any more wars, by the way. So, I mean, <laughs> that's another reason why. And I, I want to tell you something else. And I'd like to have a president of the United States who could stand up and say, you know what, the United States of America is against torture. Wouldn't that be a radical <laughs> idea? So, in any event, you know, I'm here to tell you as a former Hillary supporter, I am an enthusiastic, unabashed, dedicated, committed Obama supporter. I will go to New Hampshire, I will go to Maine, I will go anywhere they want me to go to make sure that this man gets elected.